was it like the first time that you heard that you got picked up? You oh, excited? Did yeah, you know? I'm overjoyed. I remember uh, I was out with some friends and, and uh, just having lunch and got the word and, and it was just really excited to know that I was going to be able to be with everybody again and uh, it's like going back to summer camp. It's just so much fun. So I was completely excited, overjoyed and, and uh, curious as to what was going to happen. Uh, the, the, the new season, so yeah. And what was your reaction to finding out where they were taking all of the characters, and especially with what I just saw in there, <laughs> exactly. because that's a nice new addition. Well, that's the interesting thing is that, you know, we know tidbits, but they like to really, like, tease it out to us a lot, so we don't know everything that's going to happen, and so it's really a surprise when we read it, and I think uh, it's a cool way to kind of keep us, you know, seeing what the viewers are going to see. We get a surprise every script, so um, from what I've heard is going to happen, I was extremely excited about it. I think uh, there's some really cool stuff for every character, and especially my character. And um, and so it's just a lot of fun so far, and I'm, I'm excited to see where we go for the rest of the season. What stage of his residency is he in? Because I think someone right. told me that there's like a three-month gap between there's season one and season There's a three-month gap. Two. He's still in, in his uh, first year of, of residency, so he's still an intern. And the next year, uh, which I presume would be next season, uh, he would be starting his... Uh, his um, you know, specialized residency, so he'd be going into a particular field. Are we gonna get to hear more about that? Because I remember there was the whole like <laughs> surgery pediatrics thing. Right, and yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. if Dad's exactly. here, that's yeah. gonna be an I issue. I think that's uh, I think that's a big part of where Paul's going, and and uh, and so I think he's really just, especially in the beginning of the season, trying to figure out where he fits in and what he is actually passionate about outside of everybody else's, you know, demands on his life. So he's uh, he's trying to really separate himself from everyone else and, and see what he's passionate about. Is Dad the only one that comes? Because I remember the grandfather yeah, was, yeah, was in uh, on the surgery stuff uh, too. I think. No, no, no. I, uh, yeah, it's it's just my dad so far, and uh, but I've got a lot of family in in, in the business, so we'll see uh, who else shows up at some point. Yeah. yeah. And how about just like what you wanted to do with the character? Is there anything from season one that maybe you were surprised that fans reacted to, or something that you felt was missing that you had to go to the writers and be like? Don't forget this. No, it's, it's funny. They, they always um, are, you know, kind of in line with me as to, you know, what they want to do with the character. Usually if I have an idea, they're like, yeah, we were just writing that, actually. So it's, it's really funny that we have that sort of connection as far as who Paul is and, you know, where he's going. And um, really for me, uh, I just kind of wanted to grow Paul up a bit more. Uh, you know, he was very, very sweet and very innocent and very sensitive in the first season. And he still has those qualities. But I think he's just kind of growing into himself uh, quite a bit more this season, and the journey that he takes to get there is very, very interesting, I think. So. You can already tell, based we only saw the first episode, then I right. think what'll be not necessarily the second one, but one further yeah. down the line, yeah. and yeah. you can just tell, I, except when he has the pranks happen right. to him. Right, exactly, yeah. There's like, almost like a childish tone to his yeah. voice, yeah. and it kind of makes you fall for her more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Any more pranks on set? Like in oh, real oh, in real life. Yeah, we all. I mean, we always. Um, the, There's too many like fun things to play with here really, to not I mean, do it. There really are. Um, the latest gag um, is involving me and uh, Merle and Jill uh, like to corner me and talk to me in a baby voice um, and chase me around set, and they think it's quite hilarious. Um, it is pretty funny actually. Merle in particular. Um, it's not her voice. It's the thing she's saying. I can't not laugh. It's really bad. Um, what else is there? I mean, there's always something going on in set. It's, we're giggling constantly between takes, so it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Have you guys gotten into, like, just the way things have to work at this point, where you can kind of just step in and it just goes because you, know, you nailed it, it from it, season one? It, it, um, there are a lot of things in that way that we're more comfortable with, and I, and I think, you know, we're getting much better at the medical, you know, stuff, uh, and, and, you know, doing that, it, it, you know, it's difficult learning and finding a groove in that way. Uh, we have incredible med techs um, this year, and, and we're kind of getting a better flow on that, I feel. Um, and then I think our relationships are just much more cemented. You know, um, not only does the audience know who we are as characters, but we know who we are as characters a bit more, so that helps immensely. You know, you're kind of finding your way in, in a first season and, and figuring out who you are and what the story's going to be, and then you're in it by now. So it's, it's a lot of fun in that way, just playing off those dynamics. Speaking of relationships, are we ever going to get to meet Paul's girlfriend? Oh, well, I, you know, it's been a three-month lapse, so I don't know necessarily if he's still in a relationship right now. But, uh, you know, that's definitely a question that comes up quite a few times this season as to what his relationship status is and, and if he's with anyone. And, um, I think that's going to come up um, a bit more. But, you know, as of right now, he's very focused on, you know, finding out where he's at uh, career-wise. It's kind of a difficult thing, you know, when you work the night shift. 
you know, being with someone and you're constantly, you know, gone all night and then you're sleeping all day. So it's, it's a hard thing to keep up a relationship in that way. Is there anything you have to do to kind of get yourself in that headspace? Like, do you shoot a lot of overnight so you we, may we know do how it feels? Actually, oh, I, we know how it feels. I, I couldn't imagine actually practicing medicine feeling the way I feel on actual overnight shoots. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's interesting because, yes, you're tired, you're shooting, you know, or you're, you're in the hospital overnight, but there's so much adrenaline, there's so much energy, and you're saving people's lives, so it doesn't really feel that way. You're just kind of, you know, wired the entire time, so it's a weird dynamic, yeah. And someone told me earlier that Krista trains with Dr. Chavez, and you're yeah. kind of with um, yeah. Scott's character? Yeah, exactly. It kind of works out that way, where um, I, I, my internship is with him, uh, surgery-wise. I'm just kind of starting now. That's why I'm in the blue scrubs. Uh, but yeah, we haven't started on that yet, so it's really it's going to be really interesting to see like what the dynamic is there. Oh, so your scrub color changes depending yeah, on what you're, you're doing. Surgery. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So the general like ERs, like the, kind of the I don't know what is teal ish scrubs maybe that oh, bad. Um, and then the dark blue is the surgery, and then you know, different fields have different colors. So. So if he's training in surgery more, mm -hmm. does that mean he's going to be out of the hospital less? Well, it's I, I think we're we're going to find out something interesting about where he's going with that. But uh, no, it's 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 um, we kind of find ways to you know weave everybody's story in. So he's involved with cases there and he's in the OR as well and, and uh, I think they managed to work that out. Yeah. How do you like shooting the stuff in the OR? Because I'm assuming it's just a lot of, I mean, just pure <laughs> memorization of lines and hitting marks yeah, and words. it's definitely different. It's definitely different. It, I, for me, it's fun. Um, I like to think that I, I'm actually very good at surgery. Um, and so it's just, you know, fun figuring out what I could actually do. Um, now, I wouldn't want to actually perform surgery on anyone. It would be a terrible idea. But in the event of no one else being around, I feel like I can actually learn this stuff and do it. So what so. what can you do? Like if someone like I don't know fell down and like right. needed stitches, could you really get I them could, stitches? I could, I could do stitches. I just learned in this episode how to do a, a, a one hand um, knot tie. So that's really intricate and impressive, I think. Um, but no, I, yeah, I can do quite a few things. I can suture it. It would re be really ugly, but it would it would be effective, I feel like. Yeah. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> <laughs> I know many people are. Yeah. So I was talking a bit about the zombie episode with yeah, Owen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear more about that because okay. I'm a big sucker for that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, I, what I can tell you about that is that we have the most interesting people come to, like, just be on the show, like extras or guest stars or whatever. And every day that entire episode, just coming to work and seeing like arms falling off or just, the, you know, it was like being on The Walking Dead but in the hospital, which was, I'm a fan, so that was really amazing. But yeah, it was just fun coming to work every day and seeing like the incredible job our makeup team did, yeah. Was there any uh, blood gore related stuff that really freaked you out or surprised you? Because you had that eye thing last season. I did, and that, that was I pretty did. Intense. So far, there have been a few. I haven't been as involved in those particular aspects, um, but I've you know read about them, and then I always come to set to watch like everybody's scenes. So I've seen them, and they're pretty. I'm excited to see like the finished product. They're pretty good. Yeah.